Hello everyone, I'm Chris, the field application engineer from Newton Technology. Today, I will introduce the principle in the application of programmable serial I/O, aka PSIO, on N251 and N252. The programmable serial I/O of new micro N251 and N252 series can generate arbitrary waveforms and combine them to achieve data transmission and the reception of specific serial communication protocols. Of course, standard serial communication can also be achieved, such as UART, SPI, and I2C. Usually, it is common to use Timer Plus GPIO to achieve these specific communication protocols, but it is more complicated and requires frequent CPU intervention. When we use PSIO, this not only simplifies the complexity of the operation, but also reduces the burden on the CPU. The saved CPU performance could be distributed in other places. Since all hardware operations do not require software intervention, the timing control is more precise. The principle of PSIO is to use a slot controller to control the pin input and output of a determined state. And it can also control the duration of these states. Each slot controller has 8 slots, which can be used as A settings, and the registers corresponding to each slot can access the data that needs to be input and output, and can also set the time for the current pin to maintain this state. Each slot can reach a checkpoint, usually 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, and so on. Each checkpoint can set the pin states of the corresponding slot within the corresponding time. Next, let's take a look at a simple output-only example. In the initial state, we first set the state of the pin to be high before slot has start, so the output is high. Then, when the slot controller receives the start signal, slot 0 is set to output low level according to the setting of CP0 and waits for the time of slot 0 to expire. Then, slot 1 is set to output low level according to the setting of CP1 and waits for the time of slot 1 to expire. And so on, followed by slot 2, output low level. And the slot 3, slot 4, and the slot 5. After slot 5, since slot 6 is not set, the waveform of the protocol can be completed with only 6 slots. Between the time of next data transmission, we set the interval low, so the output is low at this time. User can complete different protocol according to these simple operations. In the related resources section, we have provided two PSIO application nodes. They are two protocol examples with more detailed operations and the descriptions. If you want to know more details about PSIO, please download it from the URL in the video. Several sample codes of different protocols are also provided in BSP. That's all for today's video. Thanks for your watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you want to have more information, please contact us. See you 